Hey, this is Chris from Air Guns of Arizona with another episode of Air Gun Boot Camp. Today we're going to be looking at air pistols and the five general different types that we have, which are PCP, spring, single stroke, multi pump, and CO2. So they're all used in different cases. Uh, some are better for hunting, some are better for plinking in the backyard, and we'll go over all that right now. So the first one I'm going to show you is the HW44. Uh, this is a PCP, which also means pre-charged pneumatic, which means you have to get air into this gun somehow. Um, most guns are gonna be a little bit different, but this one right here, you have a probe that you'll put in here, and with your air tank or a hand pump or a compressor, you can fill up this reservoir. Now, with the PCP pistols, it's really great because you can have multiple shots on some guns, like this one, which have a multi-shot rotary magazine. So with this, you load up the magazine, put it in here, and you can cock, shoot, and then do that again and again until the pellets are out. Uh, generally, these have a smaller tank than rifles, obviously, so the shot count will be a little bit less on some of these more powerful ones. Uh, like the HW44 is fantastic for hunting, fantastic for um, plinking outdoors. It's really an all around kind of gun. Uh, you can do use it for 10 meter, but we'll discuss later about uh, 10 meter uh, pistol that might be a little bit better for that application. But this one can also be used in, you know, uh, shooting, shooting field target. Really, it can do pretty much everything. And it also comes with a silencer, which is really nice because these PCP pistols often are loud without a moderator. The HW44 comes standard with one. So these PCP rifles, again, are really great for shooting outdoors. This particular one is good to out to 40, 50 yards, depending on you know, the, the wind and conditions out there, but can absolutely take out your squirrels, birds, pests, rodents, anything like that you may have around your house. This is a nice compact way to you know, have it in a, in a drawer or in the desk right there where you see it and you have to act quickly, you know, grab it up and go whereas a rifle might be a little bit larger, take up a little bit more room in your, in your house. This one is a nice way to just have it sitting there, waiting for that pesky uh, rabbit or rat to come out and then get them immediately. On some PCP air pistols, you'll see that I have a, a Picatinny rail right here. So with that Picatinny rail, you can put a red dot, a pistol scope, or even this one's long enough, you can put a full size rifle scope on this. If you're gonna have a bipod or maybe a rest right there, then you'd be perfectly fine to have a full length scope and you can test this thing out. And it is surprisingly accurate at long distances like 40, 50 yards. So with a scope or a red dot, you can test that out. You know, you can really test the limits on your shooting ability with a pistol. Generally, there are two types of the PCP pistol. One is gonna be kind of like your all around, like your HW44. And then there's gonna be your 10 meter pistol. Uh, 10 meter pistols are gonna have a lot less power and generally they're gonna use a wad cutter or a flat pellet, where these will generally use a domed pellet. So a little bit of a difference between those there. The 10 meter will also get a lot more shots than the PCP because there is less power. But these PCPs are good for all around hunting and uh, plinking in the backyard, accuracy, greater distances like 40, 50 yards. Uh, one of the best things about this PCP is that it is really easy to fill up with a hand pump. Where some of those large rifles uh, are killers to fill up with a hand pump. This small little cylinder right here, easy to do. It'll just take a few minutes to fill up the cylinder with a hand pump and you're out shooting. That was a brief overview of our PCP pistols. Now we're gonna go on to the 10 meter pistol. And here we have the Hammerly AP20 Pro, an absolutely fantastic 10 meter pistol. Um, you'll notice a difference. This one does have a much larger uh, cylinder than the previous HW44 that we saw before. Uh, there's also one other big thing that I wanted to show you is that with the with the 10 meter guns, most of the time, this is a generality, that the cylinder will come off. Okay, so with the rifle or with the pistol, there is going to be an attachment where you can then attach this to your tank or your hand pump or your compressor. Uh, most PCPs other than the 10 meters will not come off like this. So uh, all you'll do is you'll get the attachment, fill this up, and then when you're putting it on, it 
then you're gonna be good to go. So along with these 10 meter pistols, they're not gonna be multi-shot. So right here, you're gonna be pulling this up, opens that action there. You'll put one pellet in there, close it, and then fire. This type of PCP pistol is generally for 10 meter competitions. Uh, you're gonna use a wad cutter pellet, which is the flat top one, versus the Diabolo, which is the rounded one. This pistol is made for punching paper, so you're not gonna wanna go hunt with this. Uh, you're not necessarily, I mean, you can shoot cans, uh, stuff like that too, but the main focus on this gun is 10 meter pistols. So, uh, it's absolutely amazingly accurate. Uh, these guns are gonna get a very large amount of shots. This cylinder, is going to allow for a ton of shots because these are much less powerful than other PCP pistols. So we're just looking to punch through some paper at, at, at 10 meters. So you don't need a, a whole bunch of velocity or foot pounds of energy behind that. So with these, you're looking for extreme precision accuracy and looking for 10 X's to win a competition, not necessarily to go hunting or plinking. So with a 10 meter, you're gonna be using the iron sights. You're not gonna be mounting a scope or a red dot on these. But with these 10 meters, you'll just focus on these uh, iron sights right here. All right, so that was an overview of the PCP pistols. And now let's load up the next one, which is a spring piston. And here we have the HW45, which is a spring piston um, air pistol. Um, absolutely fantastic little gun. Um, let me show you how it works a little bit. Okay, with spring piston air pistols, uh, all of them are gonna be a little bit different. Right now with this one, the HW45, just hit this, and this is gonna pop up. So there's going to be resistance going this way, and it'll be different with the single stroke pneumatic that we'll talk about later. So with this one, your resistance, I like to put it on my leg right here, pull up, and cock. Now once I do that, I'm free to go. This is not gonna move. Now, this has no resistance. Right, so what I'll do is I'll put my pellet, one pellet right here, close this, that spring is now extended, now I'm ready to fire. So I will get one shot with this, uh, with one pump of that spring. And one of the best parts about a spring piston air gun is that it's self-contained. You don't need a pump, you don't need a magazine, none of it. You can just go out with the tin of pellets and this, and you can have a great time. This particular one, the HW45, is quite powerful. Um, so you can hunt with this, you know, rats, squirrels, things, but it's gonna be much closer in the distances. You're not gonna be doing your 40 or 50 yards with a pistol like this. Uh, this is more gonna be for close quarters, you know, within 10 yards, and just plinking around, you know, shooting cans, shooting targets uh, in the backyard. It's a it's, it's really great little, little air gun because you don't need anything. It, you, the the pistol and the pellets. That's all you need to go have a great time or get the job done if you are hunting uh, rodents, pests, any small things like that. That was an overview of the spring piston air pistol. Uh, so now we're gonna load up the single stroke pneumatic pistol. Here we have the FAS 6004, a single stroke pneumatic. Uh, these are absolutely fantastic little guns. Um, one of the main reasons I like these a lot is because they're very quiet. Like we discussed with the spring piston, this is going to have a little lever right here that you'll need to press in to open this up. Now, unlike the spring piston, it's going to be completely opposite. The stroke length coming up is going to be effortless. That took nothing, right? So we'll put one pellet right in here. And then in this case, the single stroke pneumatic looks like, works like shock, right? So when I'm pressing down, it's actually gonna have some resistance behind it, and that's what's gonna be compressing that air in it. So once I compress the full way, done, I'll have one shot. Generally, these single stroke pneumatics uh, prefer a wad cutting pellet, which is the flat one, versus the Diabolo, which is the domed. So with a pistol like this, it's gonna be really great for indoors, um, and the best part about it is that you're self-sufficient. You need a tin of pellets, and you need this gun, and you're good to go. Uh, these do all come with iron sights, so most of the time you'll be using those. Some single stroke pneumatic pistols may allow you to have like a red dot or a little scope on them uh, with a rail. This one does not, but there are some of them out there that you can put 
a little red dot on um, for a little bit more accuracy. But generally, most of the time, you'll be using iron sights with this. So the, the main, main reason you would want one of these is probably for punching paper. In your house, you can also set up cans. You know, it's obviously good for plinking too, but it does have the ability to be incredibly accurate. So that's the main focus of this pistol, usually. So that was an overview of the single stroke pneumatic pistol. Next, we're gonna go into the CO2 style. This CO2 happens to use pellets instead of BBs. So let's load the next one up. Here we have the SIG P226 uh, CO2 pistol. So these ones are going to use a CO2 like this. It's gonna be a 12 gram CO2. Generally, they get about 40 or 50 shots per CO2. That can change, but that's the general rule is around 40 to 50 shots. There might be different ways to load this. Some of them go up in the magazine. Uh, some go in the handle right here. This particular one goes in the back of the grip. So you'll just push down here. This is gonna open up. You're gonna take your 12 gram CO2, go up, and then it's gonna lock. Now we're gonna push this close. What that's gonna do is it's going to pierce that CO2 from the top and then we'll be ready to fire. You did hear a little bit of that uh, CO2 come out. That's normal, that's okay. Once you close it, it's gonna seal off. With these CO2 pistols, uh, once again, there's gonna be a couple different variations uh, on the magazine. This one right here is gonna fall out the bottom. Okay, now this one is actually dual-sided that way or that way. So instead of just having eight shots, you're gonna have 16. So you'll load the pellets up right here, rotate, Put another pellet in there and you're going to be wanting to shoot wad cutters in this wad cutter is the flat topped pellets you're not going to be wanting to shoot the round diabolos it's not going to shoot well uh, they're a little too heavy as well these co2s don't have a ton of power most of the feet per second is going to be around up to 400 maybe 500 for some but closer to 400 on most so you're going to want to use a lighter pellet you're going to want to use around a seven grain you know six and a half seven and a half is okay too but generally around seven grain pellet uh, wad cutter will be the best for pistols like this. Now this is a pellet CO2 gun, which most are just BBs, but something like the P226, we can shoot pellets. And the advantage to shooting pellets is that it's gonna be a little bit straighter and it'll have a little bit more accuracy than those BBs because BBs don't really have a good below ballistic coefficient. They kind of just go, right? They're, they're spinning where a pellet is actually rifled. So we'll load this up, we'll put it in, all the way. Uh, this particular CO2 uh, BB gun does have a blowback system on it. So this will blow back just like a, a traditional and regular firearm. This will blow back every time you shoot. So once you, lock, once you cock it and lock the first time, you're gonna be able to good to shoot. Boom, 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 boom. There is no cocking every time. One CO2 will generally give you around 40 to 50 shots. And that's for the most part. Some will get more, some will get less. So a CO2 pistol is a great option for, you know, plinking in the backyard, teaching your children how to shoot under adult supervision, of course, having a good time. Uh, this is not really going to be used for hunting that often. Uh, now, this pellet one does have a little bit of power to it. You know, if you have a bird really close to you, you could probably get it done. But for the most part, it's for shooting cans, it's for shooting paper, it's for having a good time. What's great about CO2 pistols, you can just bring a handful of CO2s and you can go and shoot all day. So just a couple of them in your pocket, the pellets in the other pocket and your pistol, and you're ready to go have a great day. This is an overview of the pellet gun CO2 pistol. Next, we're gonna load up the BB CO2. And here we have a Glock 19. So this one is going to be extremely similar to the SIG P226 that we just spoke about, but it's gonna be shooting BBs instead of pellets. Uh, it's pretty much two spec to the regular Glock 19. So one of the best features about these is that it's fantastic for getting trigger time without shooting a whole bunch of nine millimeter, 40 or 45. You can just shoot BBs in the backyard and still get that good weight that you're looking for and trigger time um, because ammunition is going out the roof right now. This is definitely a fantastic way to keep on getting trigger time behind your pistol without going to the range. So these right here are going to use a BB system instead of pellets. So what you'll do is you'll, just like on the regular Glock, your release is gonna be here. It's gonna release this down. So once you do that, there's gonna be a little slide right here. You're gonna slide all the way down and there's this little hole right here. 
This little hole, you'll put your BBs in, they'll slide up, slide up, slide up. And then once it's full, you move this over and then it will just compress that spring so it's against the BBs, so the BBs are gonna be, have force against them going upward. With this one, the CO2 is gonna go in the back, the same as that PT26 did, but there's one little more step. So, as you can see on the bottom here, it does have an Allen key. This is a six millimeter, and what this is gonna do is you'll take it out a little bit. Then, that gives you the ability to put your CO2 up in there. To engage this, CO2, you'll take that six millimeter again, and this is going to hiss. Once you hear it hiss, don't stop, keep going for another about turn. There you go. So now what we'll do is we'll put our handle back on. Once this is loaded with BBs, we'll put it back in and we're ready to go. So with this one, this is not a blowback action. So you'll just need to pull the trigger and go. There is no cocking, there is no anything like that. Once this CO2 is engaged and there's pellet or BBs in here, you're good to go. Fire, fire, fire. These COT air pistols are absolutely fantastic for backyard shooting. You know, shooting cans, you know, having fun with your family, teaching young ones how to shoot and firearm safety properly. Um, all of those are great. It's not gonna win you a competition. It's not gonna be the most accurate thing in the world. These BBs, they don't fly the same, it's not rifled. So don't expect too much accuracy, uh, but expect to be able to shoot a can, you know, when it's 15, 20 feet away from you, you'll be able to hit the can every time. Other than that, you know, you can, you can get better with it and you can practice and you can probably get pretty, pretty accurate with it, but don't expect the accuracy like you would a uh, CO2 pellet pistol or uh, the spring gun, single stroke or the PCP. These are really for having fun and getting trigger time behind your gun if you do have uh, a firearm and you wanna practice. So that was an overview of the BBCO2 air pistols. Now let's load up the multi-pump air pistol. Here we have the Crossman 1377, a classic. Um, most of you have probably seen this before. If you haven't, it's a wonderful little pistol. So everything is self-contained in this pistol right here. You don't need CO2. You don't need PCP air. You know, everything is just right here with this pump. So with these multi-pumps, uh, you can use three pumps, six pumps, or even 10 pumps. Every time you pump this, it's gonna store air in here. So unlike the single strokes where one pump equals one shot, this one actually holds the air in here. So the more you pump, the more velocity you're gonna get with your pellet. So generally three pumps is usually about the minimum and you can put your 177 pellet right here, pull this back, this is now cocked. Put your pellet in right here. It's just a single uh, single shot. So you push it in and pull the trigger. Now, once you pull that trigger, that air that you had in there, say you pumped it six times, all of those six pumps are gone now. Every time you shoot, you go back to, to pump one. So these multi-pump pistols are a ton of fun for being outdoors. Uh, you can plink in the backyard shooting cans. Uh, you can shoot paper. They're actually pretty accurate as well. And you can even take out your little uh, rodents and pests uh, like, you know, small squirrels, uh, birds, anything that's pretty close to you. If you do 10 pumps with this, uh, it's definitely gonna take them out. It has the ability, it has the amount of energy that's needed to take out a bird, a squirrel, you know, really small animals, a rat, any small animals like that. So uh, they're quite fun. Uh, another cool little thing you can do with these is you can shoot darts out of them. So if uh, you have a little dartboard and you have some darts, you can actually use that in place of a pellet, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, you can play darts with the, with the pistol. I do it myself uh, almost every other weekend. These multi-stroke pistols like this, you're really gonna use your iron sights. Um, there's, no, there's no room for a rail or a scope or a red dot, anything like that, so it's more of a just, uh, you know, use your iron sights, have fun. Um, accuracy is pretty good, but don't expect to win a competition with it. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun um, for a pistol around the yard or out even hunting just small game close up. So that was an overview of the five types of air pistols that we have here. We had the PCP, we had the spring piston, the single stroke pneumatic, the CO2, and the multi-pump. All of these pistols are great in their own way. Hopefully this helped you 
find out which one might be right for you. You know, do I want a CO2 just to shoot cans in the backyard or do I want to jump up to a PCP and have the ability to shoot 30, 40, 50 yards with a scope and, and uh, take out a rodent or shoot a target. Thank you for watching this episode of Air Gun Boot Camp. Um, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, and continue watching. Please drop some comments below if you want me to do any different type of videos. Uh, please let me know. I'm always looking for new videos to do. Uh, if you have any questions that are more urgent, give us a call at Air Guns of Arizona. We'll be happy to field any questions and get you into the air gun that you're looking for.